And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Drinks are poured. Teddy bears are ready. It's time for the return of Rainbow Foxy. Hey guys. It's been a while. The other day, I was watching videos on YouTube, and I realized that I had not posted videos for a long time. A long, long time. You know, I've stopped posting videos before, and I've stopped doing it for a while. But now, it's now been over a year since I posted my last video. Not counting the last trailer that I did for this video. I realized that I had disappeared from YouTube without telling any of you what I was doing. I want you guys to know that I'm okay. It's just that a lot's happened in that time. A lot. Now before I get into any of the reasons why I left, I want you guys to know that I'm back and I am ready to rock. I'm ready to play. I got... Look at this. I got this big thing right here. I got virtual reality for you guys. I will be ready to play. I've, I've got a PS4. I've got a whole bunch of new... I got a whole bunch of new things, okay? I've also got uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So let me know if you, if you guys know that game. Let me know if you guys want me to play it. If you want me to make a series of it. Words! Now here are the reasons why I left. The first one is, I got discouraged about the number of subscribers on my channel. I've been going for a few years now, and I have 72 subscribers. Originally, I thought by now I would have more than that. I let the number of subscribers on my channel get in the way. I let them affect me. So much so that I forgot the real reason why I created the channel. It wasn't to get more subscribers, it wasn't to become popular, it was to entertain the ones that I had. I forgot that. I did what I said not to do in my positive thought video. I let negative thoughts take over. I was thinking, man, I don't have many more subscribers. I'm losing motivation. <sighs> Even though I should have been thinking, wow, I have 72 subscribers. <sighs> That's great. Instead, I thought the wrong thing. And at that, I let it get in the way of your guys' entertainment. I forgot that I was one of the sources of your entertainment. And then, because I thought of the number of subscribers I had, I left? That just wasn't right. I was just mean. And I'm so sorry, guys. But now I'm back, and I'm gonna fix that. The second reason is that, well, as you guys may know, I like singing, and I've started to like acting. So I decided to go start auditioning for shows. And the first show I went to audition for was The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I got a part in it. And then, rehearsals just started up taking a lot of time. 
at first it was uh, I don't know I can't remember two three rehearsals a week and then it eventually went to every day so I didn't have any time to start recording videos for you guys and now I've started doing another show called guys and dolls so the rehearsals kind of this the rehearsal schedule is kind of the same so yeah and then there's the third reason this is the biggest one of all this is the one that had the biggest impact When I was doing The Hunchback of Notre Dame, my grandma and grandpa, they came to see one of, one of, those, one of the performances. And they enjoyed it a lot. Then a few nights after, we were still doing the performances. And not long before, my mom calls my stage manager and says that my grandpa, he took a fall and hurt himself. And he had to go to the hospital. So then my stage manager came to tell me that and I thought, oh no, why now? His injury later recovered, a, a few months later, his injury got better, but he had to remain in the hospital for a few personal reasons. And then everything seemed like it was going fine. He was home at one point, and then he had to go back to the hospital. The hospital was the last place he ever saw. I went to see him one night, and then I had to go back home, go to bed, and the next morning, he, he passed away. I loved my grandpa so much, so when I got the news, I was devastated. He and my grandma were part of the sunshine that I had when I was in school, when I was in public school, because I got bullied every day badly, and then coming home, coming to their house for lunch, Seeing them, it was always something I could look forward to. No, my grandma still is part of that sunshine. She still is, don't get me wrong, but it's just not quite the same. You know, he would play games with me every time I went to their house whenever we could. He would always joke around, always try to make me laugh. And 
I feel like I didn't respect him enough. <laughs> I remember whenever I was at her, at their house, and whenever we could, he would always take me out to the backyard with three balls. We would always throw them on top of the roof for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why I found that as fun as I did, but I did. And it was fun. We would always spend a lot of time together. And one time when I was little, I, I think it was an air show that we went to. He was really into flying. So when we went to that one air show or airport, I don't remember what it was. He was in the back seat of the plane. It was one of those planes where you have two cockpits. Pilot sits in the front and the co-pilot in the back. He was the co-pilot. I, I think he was the co-pilot. And when they took off, I remember little me running across the field after them all on my own. And then when I... When I came back, I came back walking slowly with my head, ha with hanging my head, and I asked my mom, Grandpa, come back. And now, now he never will. I wish I could talk to him again. I wish I could see him again. But I can't. That had a really big impact on me. It had a big impact on everybody, of course, but... Him leaving... It just... It hurt me so much. <laughs> I... I just wish that he had been awake when I last said goodbye. They had to take him off his medication so he wasn't able to stay awake. <laughs> and, and now, he, I don't even know what to say. Whenever I had to go to his lunch, to his house for lunch when I was in public school. When I was in younger grades, I think up to grade three, I remember he would always come early and he would be standing there waiting for me in the back, waiting for me in the playground. Then he would always walk me over to their place and he would always take me to school too <laughs> and now that's that's never gonna happen again <laughs> I miss you grandpa I miss you so much And I love you. So yeah. That really affected me. 
it made me decide I didn't think that I could post videos in that state of mind. But now, I watched my videos and I changed my mind. I'm coming back. And by the way, I know about this COPPA law. I know about the having to make videos either kid-friendly or non-kid-friendly. And I am coming back no matter if I have to do this or not. If I have to comply with that law or not, I don't care. I'm coming back. Hey YouTube, guess what? Do you think you can really put this wall in my way and have me not come back? Oh no. Oh no. Guess why, YouTube? I'm coming through! Now, while I am going to promise that I am coming back to YouTube no matter what, I'm no longer going to say that I am going to be posting daily because most likely that will no longer be the case due to the rehearsals and everything else that I've got to do. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Nope, not gonna happen. So, stay tuned these next two weeks because videos are gonna be coming your way. All right, so until then, Without further ado, I have not said this for a long time, but I will see you guys later.